In this video I want to talk about how to represent paint and other coatings in your SOLIDWORKS CAD model. Now usually paint or protective coatings, platings, might just be represented with an appearance or with a call out on a drawing for instance, just call out the specification required for the material finish. However, sometimes uh, it's nice to have an actual body in the part file that represents the paint or coating that you're trying to use. And the technique I'm going to show to accomplish this is using surfaces in SOLIDWORKS. So you can see here on the screen I have a composite part and I want to apply a coating as a body around it. So to do that I'm going to use my surfaces commands and you can, if you don't see surfaces here, you can right click on a tab in your command manager to turn on the surfaces toolbar. Uh, with this on the screen I'm going to go ahead and launch the offset surface command here. So offset surface it's going to allow me to actually copy the exterior surfaces of the part. And the way I'll do that is by changing this offset distance in here, which by default wants to offset the surface away. I'll change that to zero and hit enter. And you'll notice the offset surface command actually changes to the copy surface command. So with this setup, I want to select all the exterior faces of the part. And it's worth noting too, I'm doing this in a multi-body part. I'm going to make my coating as a separate body, but you can use the same exact technique from the assembly level in the context of an assembly to make the coding as a separate part file. Okay. So while I'm here, I'm going to select all these faces and a shortcut to do that on a curvy part like this would be a right click select tangency and it should select all the other faces around there. If not all the faces are tangent then you'll have to manually select some faces or try using an alternate selection method. So I just want to verify that all the exterior faces were selected and then click the check mark to accept the copy surface command. At this point I should have a solid body and a surface body that's overlapping it as you can see on the screen here and in my feature manager tree here I have a solid body folder and the surface body folder and what I want to do is select that surface body which right now is just infinitely thin and choose to thicken it. So I'm going to thicken it to my desired thickness of my coating. So I'll select that surface body, choose thicken, and choose the thickness I want to enter here. And I'm going to exaggerate the thickness a little bit, do like a quarter inch coating, which maybe could be like insulation. And we get to choose where that thickness is applied. So in this case, I can apply it about the mid plane uh, or to one side or the other. So I'll apply it to the top. And I want to make sure I clear the box for merge result. So that will produce a separate body when I click the check mark. I'll produce a separate solid body within my part file that I could apply a material to and check the mass of or volume of. So it's just a simple procedure for representing again coatings, paints, protective layers like insulation, anything that you may need to add to the exterior of your part. Uh, this is the best way I found the surface offset method. This gives you a lot of flexibility if you're in the assembly mode, you can pull surfaces off multiple parts if needed to create those protective coatings.